Hey, what's up guys? So check it out. The hot spot. Oh yeah, I got my work table in order here now. Um redoing redoing uh the kitchen. So I'm taking cabinets down, so I took this one, put it up here. Got my paints up here and some stuff that's special to me that I got on the shelves, you know. Like this I got from my pop. I really like this. I want to do some kind of industry with this. I was thinking about doing, uh, I don't know, like uh, Wheatley's rubber mulch or something, you know. And then it's got the, the containers right in here. The tanks, I mean. You know, and then get other tanks here that or something. I'm not sure yet, but have a conveyor to go into the roof into these tanks and then they put them in like 50 pound bags or 25 pound bags or whatever and then the train rolls up here I don't know it's just something that uh, I was thinking about so let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys like that idea or not I think that that's cool and I got these little buildings from my pop I got a whole box right here that's just full of stuff that I haven't even gone through yet. But, uh, let's see. Hey, Mike, you were talking to me about weathering with powders and stuff. Get these right here. This is from Hobby Lobby. I know that's your favorite store. Uh, yeah. They're like $6, I think, or something like that. They're real cheap. But it's, it's just the chalks. And all I do is just, I scrape the chalks off and put them in these little things. Here, look. So, I don't know if you could, there you go, there's a little bit in there. But, that's how I roll, that's how I do it. I got my paint right up in here. Got my brushes and paint pens, because I want to I wanna try to start doing some uh, graffiti. But I got to get the weathering down first. Oh, here's a question, guys. Vinny, you might know this answer. This is old telephone wire. Can I use this for a bus line or feeders? I ripped it out of my house when I first moved in and I saved it. So comment below and let me know if I could use this or not. Or anybody let me know. But I'm pretty sure Vinny will know the answer to that because he's an old head and he, he knows all the good stuff. You know what I mean? This right here is real special to me. Check this out, guys. I'm an old, I'm an O scaler at heart. So, I made this, I scratch built this, fellas, out of cardboard and balsa wood. This thing is so freaking cool. I'm really impressed with this. Look, that thing is solid, dude. This thing is so solid. But, <clears throat> Anyway, I could put that up on the shelf because that's special to me, you know. And then I got this little shop right here. This is cool. I'm going to turn this into a little hot rod shop. You know, Scally Customs, baby. Oh, yeah. So, and then I got Cross-Eyed Scully here. <laughs> he was just floating around during the Halloween season. And I had these eyes, so I cut them out and put them in there. Cross-eyed Scully, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm just being dumb. But, yep, I got track here. Getting ready to start doing some uh, weathering up on it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing some videos to show you guys how I do it. You know. And I got a couple pieces of old turnouts. This is all old brass stuff. And I'm probably going to use it because I'm on the cheap. You know what I mean? But uh, this, I, I got the rails, but they're still a little too bright. But you need to check out um, TracksideScenery.com. He does his bright, but then he says you got to dumb it down. Good old Joey Ricard. Joey Ricard, what's up, buddy? Go check him out, TracksideScenery.com. Do a YouTube search for him. He does uh, a lot of cool on-the-cheap stuff. You know what I mean? Like right now, he's doing a little series on uh, 
taking pictures of your layout. He's a real good guy. Funny. Him and his wife, they do a cool channel in the TrackSideScenery.com. Check that out. Uh, what else? Let's see. Nothing else. This is it. So, this is my work table. I just wanted to let you guys know. Up here, I got, <clears throat> I got these old Hess trucks from uh, my grandpa. He gave them to me. They're in mint condition, still in the box. Only been out of the box for a few few times or whatever they're real nice and I got me and my beautiful wife right there on her wedding day and then I got my favorite car right there that's a 1965 and a half my favorites is 60 60 uh oh my daughter's calling me all right well anyway right there I got a 1967 Mustang that I'm restoring that hopefully soon I'm gonna bring it to the house and uh, I'm probably going to start doing some videos on restoring that too. But uh, yeah, just like this video if you like it. Comment down below if you like it. And uh, just let me know what you guys think, alright? And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.